Hello again. We're looking at an iLogic example today where iLogic actually appears to be completely lying to us about the value of a parameter being compared to another number. This topic came up on the Inventor Forum recently under iLogic Parameter Function Behavior. And if you search for that example on the Inventor Customization Forum, what you'll see is what appears to be a bug with iLogic where we're trying to compare the value of a parameter, if I look in here, the parameter is called thickness in this case. It's got a value of 21.5 millimeters. It's the thickness of this plate. If I try and compare that in an iLogic rule, uh, this rule here, the value of the parameter thickness, if it's 21.5 in this case, then tell me it matches. And if it's not 21.5, then tell me it doesn't match 21.5. So a simple comparison is thickness 21.5 or not? That's all we want to know here. And if I run this rule, what we see here is the iLogic appears to be telling me that thickness parameter is not 21.5, it's actually 21.5. So you can understand the original poster of that, uh, that query on the Inventor Customization Forum was a bit confused by this to say the least. So what is going on with this? Well, I won't bore you too much with any geekery about this, uh, but suffice to say that this problem only occurs under certain circumstances with certain numbers and with certain ways of referring to your parameters. So for instance, if I was to put in 22 here, if I change this to 22 as well, for instance, we're now checking to see if the value of the, pr the thickness parameter is 22. If I save that, close that, obviously change the value of my parameter to 22 and say done and then run this rule again, we've got no problem. It does the comparison and says, yep, your thickness parameter is 22. Have a nice day. So it only occurs with certain numbers and the list of numbers that it occurs with is a bit too complex for me to understand. So I'm not even going to try. What we need is simple solutions. If you do happen to find yourself in this scenario where iLogic is completely misleading you, um, or even better, reliable ways to prevent this from happening um, in any of your iLogic rules just in case it happens and you don't even realize it which could be a very dangerous scenario if you're trying to compare you're confident you've compared a number but in reality iLogic is giving you uh, a misleading result so how can we get around this particular problem well let's just check that I've got the problem occurring back again here before we try anything else so I'm just going to hit close change my value of my parameter back to 21.5 and run this rule and yep iLogic is definitely saying that 21.5 does not equal 21.5. If like me you're a little bit curious as to why uh, we're getting this problem in iLogic rather than me attempting to explain it now um, I suggest you look at the link to the forum article a second forum article on the blog text uh, uh, for now on this video we're actually going to concentrate on five different ways that you can either resolve or avoid this kind of problem uh, occurring. So I'm going to paste these five solutions straight into this uh, iLogic rule. So let's just paste them in and I'll include this text in my blog as well. Uh, hopefully this will give you a few tricks up your sleeve to avoid these kind of problems. So option one to avoid this comparison error up here is to use the param parameter name directly. Um, so instead of saying if parameter thickness equals 21.5 we can just say if thickness equals 21.5 and this is a legitimate way of referring to parameters in iLogic of course. So if I say save uh, and close and run that then we get a decent comparison. Yes, the thickness parameter is 21.5. We can see that there. So that's fine, except in a scenario where you are using an external iLogic rule. Um, in our external iLogic rules, because I guess the code doesn't know which, para which current document you're looking at, uh, and the parameters contained in the document, you can't just type in the name of a parameter. You have to explicitly tell it, no, I'm looking at a parameter called thickness here. So that first option, 
obviously pretty handy, but no good for external iLogic rules. Um, so option two, um, don't hard code the value for your comparison. So here I've just hard coded that I'm checking if the value of the thickness parameter is equal to 21.5. But what if I create another parameter and check the value of this parameter against the value of the other parameter instead of just hard coding 21.5 there. So let's just um, let's just copy this text in here. So I could do I could say this instead. I could say if parameter thickness is equal to parameter called target value, then do my comparison with that. If I save and close this, of course, if I run this now, I don't have a parameter called target value, but that's easy enough to sort out if I go into my parameters and add a new one. If I can remember how to spell what method I use to write this parameter in, then if I make that equal to 21.5 and hit done, so now I've got my target value parameter of 21.5. Now if I run this, then I get a correct comparison that I'm after. So if you're comparing uh, a parameter that you've read in in iLogic with another parameter value that you've read in in iLogic, you'll get a decent comparison because they're the same unit type um, or variable type, I should say. But if you hard code it in, you will not. Um, but that makes sense, hopefully. Option two is don't hard code the value. Compare um, apples with apples almost. So the, the value of this parameter with the value of that parameter and you will get a decent uh, comparison, a correct comparison there. Um, so let's just check if I save and run this again. We're back to our incorrect scenario again. So that was option two. Okay, so option three, um, you can declare the value of the parameter you want to compare as a decimal. So um, at the moment, I'm sort of directly reading in the value of this parameter here, but what I could do instead is if I copy this line of code here, I could say, first declare myself a decimal called myVal which is equal to the thickness parameter value. And then I would have to use that in here. And then I can say, compare my decimal, which is my val, um, with 21.5. And if I save and run that, then I get a decent comparison because I've said actually I want it to be a decimal. We don't get uh, we don't get the problems that are talked about in that um, Inventor Forum article I mentioned before. So let's um, delete that and let's get back to our original scenario. Okay, so that was um, option three and this is the solution suggested by Autodesk which works fine. Um, however, you've got, an, you've got to put an extra dim statement in. You need a new line, an extra line of code in for that. So what if you don't want to put an extra line of code? What are your options? Well, option four here, um, we can use what we call, yeah, what we probably call advanced iLogic code syntax to get the value of the parameter for comparing. So we could, in here, we could replace this parameter thickness here with getting the value of the thickness parameter like this. So this is actually available down here. Um, where is it? Uh, in the parameters section, parameter.param. This is another way of accessing the value of a parameter um, in addition to this way, which is what we're looking at, which is causing the problem. This way is causing the problem. And this way uh, will get us the inventor parameter with the API. So it finds the parameter, gives us the value. We have to times it by 10 because Inventor internally works in centimeters. So if you're a millimeter person, you need to times it by 10. If you're an inch person, you need to times it by 2.54. Um, let's see if this one works. Let's hit save and close. And let's run the rule. And we get a decent comparison. Yes, the thickness parameter is 21.5. So that one works fine. Um, and that's not hopefully not too painful, though with the times by 10, that uh, might be confusing. 
initially, I guess. And option five is slightly more long-winded, might even be the most reliable way of getting this number, which is using pure um, API inventor programming uh, interface um, code to get the value of the parameter. So let's paste this in. Seems like a long line of code, doesn't it? But just wanted to give you all the options. So then we can say if the parameter thickness value times 10, because it's again internal units equals 21.5, same thing. Here we're actually going through the document and the parameters all the way from the application in the inventor uh, programming uh, interface. Um, then we can say save and close and run and we get a decent comparison here as well so that works fine. You could of course just copy and paste this line and all you'd have to change is that um, the name of the parameter in there so whether it's called width or thickness or whatever you would only need to just paste that in. Okay well I hope this has helped rather than confused you. Um, I like to try and prevent these problems in iLogic rules rather than cure them afterwards so uh, if in doubt I'd say probably the safest ways of um, uh, comparing them either directly use the parameter if you're in an external rule then I would say probably one of these three options here uh, compare parameters with parameters or use the advanced iLogic or the API code to get it out. Okay hope this helps a lot Thanks for watching.